Düsseldorf, a charming city in Germany, is well known for being a prominent university town and a significant hub for art and fashion. In addition to having spacious streets lined with upscale stores, this former seat of government also has a bustling downtown center that is encircled by a ring of parks and gardens. Dusseldorf is a significant cultural hub with more than 100 art galleries and dozens of museums. The latter including everything from lesser-known installations in the city's hip Gunitzeli neighborhood to internationally renowned establishments like the magnificent art collection North Rhine Westphalia. Welcome to Travel Noji, your exclusive boarding pass to access the world. Sound like your cup of tea? Keep watching to learn more about what Dusseldorf has to offer. Number 10. Visit Dusseldorf Kaiserswerth. Dusseldorf Kaiserswerth, one of the city's oldest districts, was incorporated in 1929 and is a beautiful site to discover Baroque structures and the picture-perfect location on the Rhine. Its charming cobblestone alleys, which are well known to tourists for their traditional German stores, selling foods and crafts should be thoroughly explored. Along with the charming cafes and eateries, this area is home to a variety of excellent art galleries, including the Kaiserswerth Art Archive, the Church of Sonstrufertus, which dates back to the 13th century, is renowned for its exquisite reliquary of the saint. Even older is the Kaiser Falls, the imperial stronghold of Emperor Frederick I, also known as Barbarossa. Although mostly ruins, the scale of the site still impresses. With walls more than four meters thick, the ruins also serve as a great vantage point for excellent views over the Rhine. Number 9. See Nord Park's Japanese Garden. A stroll through a tranquil Japanese garden is one of Dusseldorf's more unique activities. Nord Park, one of Dusseldorf's most well liked and largest parks at 90 acres, is crisscrossed by broad pathways through its roomy meadows and themed gardens, including the exquisite Lily Garden. The Dusseldorf Japanese community gifted the city with the expansive Japanese garden which features an astounding range of landscapes. Other notable features of Nord Park are the horse tamer statue and the Aquazu Lloyd Becken Museum, which is a wonderful destination for children of all ages. Because of its top-notch natural history exhibits, sizable aquarium and insectarium. Number 8. Visit the Museum of Art. The Museum of Art houses works of art that date all the way back to the 3rd century BC. Over 70,000 pieces of graphic art, photographs, and applied art are among the works which also include fine art, sculptures, and drawings. Helmut Hendrick's glass collection and rare Italian Baroque artworks are among the highlights. The modern collection includes works by Dali, Warhol, and members of the Dusseldorf School of Painting and Expressionism, in addition to those by Caravaggio, whose creations lay the groundwork for modern art. Additionally, the museum hosts classical concerts and theatrical productions, and guided tours are provided. Also of interest to art lovers is Kunstelier Dusseldorf, a collective of local artists who regularly host displays of their work in a unique underground gallery called Art in the Tunnel. Number 7. View the North Rhine-Westphalia Art Collection. Three different areas in Dusseldorf house the North Rhine-Westphalia Art Collection. The largest collection, K20, is housed in Grabfatze, a striking modern structure with a polished black granite facade. This enormous gallery is home to a wide variety of modern art pieces, including a noteworthy collection of Paul Klee paintings. The 19th century Stanthau Structures K21 features a number of installations concentrating on contemporary sculpture, painting, and drawing, as well as pieces by Thomas Schutt, Reynard Mucha, and Thomas Hirschhorn. Schmillerhaus, the third location, is home to a number of changing exhibitions. Other art-related museums of note in Dusseldorf include the Julius Toschek Collection, a private collection of contemporary art, and the Ernest Schneider Collection. A variety of reputable dining options are available at the museum's various locations. Number 6. 
Number 6. See the views from the Rhine Tower. The Rheinturm, also known as the Rhine Tower, is a different landmark in Dusseldorf that you should put on your list of places to see. This 240 meter tall communications tower was built in 1981 and is located in the city's harbor region. It has an observation deck with stunning city views. Visit at night for spectacular views of the city far below as a special treat. The Lichtsteigiegel, a fascinating sculpture that also happens to be the biggest digital clock in the world, is also noteworthy in this location. The tower's top also houses a restaurant. Number 5. Dusseldorf Hafen and Neuer Zollhof. Instead of demolishing the abandoned warehouses and freight yards when Dusseldorf offered to reclaim wasteland from its former Riverport region, the city restored the oldest of them and replaced others with some of the most audacious modern architecture in Europe. The Frankel Gehry designed office buildings of Meteor Hafen, three very different buildings finished in 1998 that seem to defy gravity as they lean and curve like jelly frozen in mid wobble are the highlight of the stunning Neuer Zollhof neighborhood, which is home to the best of the extensive Dusseldorf Hafen redevelopment. The previous commercial harbor, with its walls, iron bollards, and railings, cranes, and rail tracks, is still a historical landmark in contrast to these contemporary constructions. Topping the area off is the Runturm, a 240 meter tall telecommunications tower. If you can, be sure to extend your visit to this interesting area with a meal at one of the many good harborside restaurants. Number 4 Explore Old Town Dusseldorf. The Old Town of Dusseldorf is still incredibly well kept and ought to be on your list of places to visit. The Marktplatz, the center of the Old Town, is home to the magnificent Town Hall and a sizable statue of Elector John William II riding a horse that was built in 1711. The Castle Tower in Burgplatz, which is located along the Rhine, is another noteworthy structure. The Schifffahrts Museum, one of Germany's top maritime Time museums is housed in a tower, which is the only remaining portion of the once dominant ancient castle. The museum features intriguing exhibits on the history of shipbuilding and trade. Another attraction to visit is the Hitchens Museum, dedicated to more than 800 years of ceramics, porcelain, and earthenware. St. Lamberto's Church is also worth a look and is well known for its unusual twisted spire. Number 3. Drive to Schloss Benrath, a magnificent Baroque mansion built between 1756 and 1773, a short 10-kilometer drive from the city center by automobile or public transportation. The lavish interior of the palace and a tour through its expansive park and gardens are highlight. The palace, which was initially constructed for Elector Karl Theodore, now houses three first-rate museums that explore various facets of life in the 18th century. The Museum Corps de Logis, which highlights Benrath's architectural heritage, is located inside the main palace building. The equally fascinating Museum of European Garden Art and the Museum of Natural History which are housed in separate park buildings, are also situated within the old location. The pleasant gardens laid out in Baroque style are also worth a visit. Number 2 Enjoy a riverside stroll on the Rhine Embankment Promenade. One of the best places to take in Dusseldorf's lovely riverbank is along the Rhine Embankment Promenade. This lengthy pedestrian route, which was opened in 1997 to conceal one of the busiest streets in the city, gives the area a uniquely Mediterranean feel. It is flanked on one side by cafes, restaurants, galleries, and shops, and on the other by the mighty Rhine. This 1.5-kilometer tree-lined promenade Promenade, which connects the Old Town to the state's parliament buildings and runs from the Oberkassel Bridge, includes bike and pedestrian lanes, and provides a wealth of options for sightseeing and people watching. You'll find a genial mix of tourists and locals enjoying it all year. Taking a stroll along this delightful pedestrian route remains one of the top things to do in Dusseldorf at night. Number 1. 
walk along Cunicellier, Germany's most elegant avenue. Cunicellier, which is referred to locally as the Kö, is regarded as Germany's poshest shopping district and is Dusseldorf's most exquisite street. Cunicellier is directly translated to English as Pinged Avenue. This extensive length of upscale real estate, which is comparable to the fashionable Avenue Montaigne in Paris, was constructed in 1802 and continues to draw crowds with its unique mix of upscale boutique shop, designer clothing stores, and opulent shopping arcades. Additionally, there is no shortage of eateries and cafes, as well as art galleries. The boulevard is lined with several good luxury hotels, some of which have wonderful rooftop terraces with views of the city and this busy street.